Hello, and welcome to this Time Zero Navigator version 4 tutorial, where today we'll be discussing the different types of charts and cartography options available. Time Zero uses MM3D charts from Map Media, with data from CMAP, Navionics, NOAA, and raster chart data from NOAA, Canadian Hydrographic Service, and select providers in South America and Europe. We also have Explorer raster charts in the Bahamas, and we can see those later. All MM3D charts combined cartography information, bathymetry information, and satellite photos in the same easy to install and manage MM3D file format, downloadable from our website. Let's take a look at the chart options we have here in San Diego by selecting the layer tab at the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can see that I am displaying currently the MM3D S57 charts from NOAA. Let's take a look at the raster charts for San Diego. We can also display Navionics charts. CMAP charts, and our fishing charts from CMAP. While these are not intended for navigation, they do offer high resolution bathymetry data for fishing, viewable in 2D or 3D. With that, we can also overlay depth shading with shallow being represented by the red color and deep being represented by the blue color. High resolution satellite photos can also be overlaid on top of the nautical charts. The Time Zero engine uses the patented Photo Fusion to merge satellite photos with nautical charts. On land, where we want satellite information to give us orientation information to situate ourselves, providing information on marinas or harbor entrances, the satellite photos are displayed at maximum resolution with no transparency. In deep water, over 10 feet, where satellite photo information would be useless, we are going to display just the nautical chart. However, in shallow water, between 0 and 10 feet, we are going to fuse the nautical chart and the satellite photo together to give information on seabed, shorelines, and things that may be missing on the chart. By turning off the satellite photos, we can see what information is displayed with or without the satellite photo. Bathymetry data can be represented on the chart using our color scale by selecting the depth shading. Again, this is available in 2D or 3D. A couple options that we have in the Time Zero options menu are to be able to change some of the features on the chart. For example, we can invert the chart palette in day mode if you're outside and want a higher contrast screen. Uh, we can also switch between day, uh, dusk, and night modes. And we also have the option for chart priority for selecting either vector charts or raster charts when in auto mode. We can add a cross screen cursor and chart boundaries if need be. 